In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create that blurry background effect in your photos. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, I am Sylvia and in this channel I talk about photography, especially high-end retouching techniques. But now let's go to the video. Sometimes you might find yourself in a situation where you need to use a high number for your aperture. What that does is that your client and the background will be more in focus. You give a deeper depth of field. One of the ways to bring back the focus to your client is by intensifying the separation between your client and the background with this blurry effect. It is a very simple trick and it gives that effect that it seems like you are using a, a really good and expensive camera that clients love. So right now I already have worked in this photo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select myself, do the separation on the background and I'm going to create this idea that I'm using a very, um, that paper background or if I was taking a photo in a painted wall that's very, very flat. You don't have like this, uh, right now I'm using a blanket. So you, in the background, in the paper background or at the wall, you're not gonna see these folders from the blanket. And that's what I wanna do. So I wanna create this blurry kind of look background where you don't see any of these folds here. So I'm gonna get all my layers together. So I press Command Option Shift E and I get all of them together. And right now I am going to select myself on the photo and you can press here. You can use any of the selecting tools and choose Select Subject, perfect. Now I want to expand a little bit the selection. So what I'm going to do is go to Select modify, expand, and I'm going to do a number five. And what it's happening, happening is that my selection, it's not perfect on me. It has a little bit more space towards me and a little bit of the background selected. So I'm going to go back to show how it is. So when I select the subject, this was the selection that was made. And when I expanded, I'm going to go to select, modify, expand. I'm going to do number five. And it creates a little bit of gap. So I'm going to go back here and this is perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove myself from the photo. So I'm going to go to image, uh, edit, content aware field. And it's going to look very weird, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to remove myself from the photo and this is perfect. So I'm going to click OK. I am going to put all the layers together again. And what I want to do in this background is to blur the background. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And right now I'm going to blur all the way because I want it to look like just one flat layer. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go back here. I'm going to select the subject again. And I'm going to create a mask. And right now, in a very simple way, I created that look like if I was in a studio, in a paper background, or if it was in a wall, in a painted wall. Hide this. Okay, and now we can see that I don't have any of like that weird folds from the blanket or anything. It looks like the photo was taken in a studio. It looks very, very professional. So let me show you here the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after, before, after. The reason why you want to select yourself and remove yourself from the photo is that if you don't, I'm going to show you what happens. If you just get a photo like this and actually go to filter, 
blur use Gaussian blur you have some colors that are different from the background so you can see that I am blurry with the background so it looks a little bit off the colors are not matching very well it doesn't look as good as if you would so um, remove yourself from the photo this one looks way more unified the colors it makes way more sense it's more realistic than if you would not remove yourself from the photo click the but the like button if you like the results now you know how to separate your client from the background or make it the or use this like blurry technique to to give a different look for your photos if you don't like the texture on the background if you have any photos with a textured background that you don't want you can use the same technique as well and this will give a better um, depending of what you're aiming for will give you a better quality of work so this is very important also if you want to get paid more by your clients so if you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos check out my latest video somewhere here on the screen and also subscribe to my channel until next time